Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So in this today's video, I will be talking about the first chapter in second QC biology, that is reproduction in organisms. So this is a notes or a PDF which has been released by DDPU, that is Department of Pre-University Education. So they have released a PDF which contains all the important notes or what you call it as study material for the first chapter. So further on, I'll be talking about every chapter which has been released by the PU board. You can find the link or the PDF in the comment section. So first chapter, that is reproduction in organism, explains about the reproduction definition, lifespan and its definition, few organisms and their lifespans, reproduction in organisms in general, then basic features of reproduction, that is cell division, duplication of cellular apparatus, formation of reproductive units, types of reproduction, asexual reproduction. It gives the features of asexual reproduction. And then it will give all the types of asexual reproduction. One by one, it will explain about binary fission with diagram, their mechanism. Then it will explain budding with diagram. That is an example of hydra and yeast. Moving on, it will talk about gemule too. So the gemule mechanism is here. You can see the definition for sporulation. Sporulation is yet another type of asexual reproduction, which is again important for your examination. Next is zoospores, conidia, and then differences between zoospore and conidia. Then fragmentation, vegetative propagations or vegetative reproduction, their definition and explanation. Here is bud pipe. Then these are the vegetative propagation which you'll be studying. So it is underground stem. And then moving on to rhizome. You'll all also study about bulb. You'll also study about sub aerial stem, that is offset, sucker, runner. And the next part is aerial shoots. So that example would be sugarcane, opentia. Next, you'll be learning about bulbils too. Then moving on to leaves. This is the leaf, leaf buds of bryophyllum. Roots, roots example is taken from Dahlia. Then moving on to sexual reproduction, characters will be given phases of life cycle, phases in life cycle, that is juvenile phase, reproductive phase, monocarpic plant under reproductive phase, polycarpic plants again under reproductive phase, then the third phase is senescent phase. Next, moving on to events in sexual reproduction, so the first phase is pre-fertilization events. So here there is an explanation of isogametes, heterogametes. Definitions of isogametes, heterogametes. And here you can see the diagram for explanation of heterogametes. And then moving on to the bisexual animal and unisexual animal, that was earthworm as bisexual, unisexual is cockroach, cell division during gamete formation, that has also been explained here. And then this is a chart or a table which gives the complete explanation about name of the organism, that is the individual organism, and their number of chromosomes in meiocyte that means 
the complete set or two set of chromosome or a pair of chromosomes. But in the next or the last column, you see the chromosome number in gamete, that means a single set. To explain this in a brief, for example, fruit fly, if the complete chromosomal is eight in number, then when during gamete formation, their chromosome would be four in one cell and four in another cell. So gamete formation would be half the chromosome or a single set of chromosome. Sexuality in organisms, then sexual reproduction in Chara and Marcantia is also being explained here. This is the Marcantia, which is having archegoniophore and anthridiophore. Archegoniophore is female part and anthridiophore is a male part. Moving on, gamete transfer is also being explained here. And they have spoken about pollination, that is self-pollination and cross-pollination. This is the fertilization and the two types of fertilization is external fertilization and internal fertilization. There's a note which will give the definition for parthenogenesis. Moving on, this is the third phase that is post-fertilization event in which there is zygote formation and there is embryogenesis. This would be the diagram which will explain the embryo. This is a table or a chart which talks about types of gamete in particular organism or a plant group and how the gamete is transferred. What is the medium which takes it to transfer? Then the third column talks about gamete fusion, how the fusion takes place whether it is internal or external, and then embryogenesis, how embryogenesis is happening. So this is the chart explaining the types of gamete and transfer and fusion. The next table talks about the difference between asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Moving on, this is post-fertilization event in annuals. So the post-fertilization event is carried by zygote followed by embryogenesis and embryogenesis can be categorized or divided into three categories that is oviparous, viviparous, ovoviviparous. Oviparous means egg laying. Viviparous give rise to young ones. Ovoviviparous animals produces egg, but instead of laying the eggs, the eggs developed within the mother's body. Moving on to the next one, sexuality in higher organisms, that is animal. So here they have spoke about seasonal breeders and continuous breeders. Here is an mentioning of ostrich cycle and menstrual cycle too. Make sure you study these with examples. So this is all about the notes of first chapter. So in my next videos or coming videos, I will talk about all the other chapters which is released by the board. And furthermore, I will start explaining the chapters in each. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.